हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ जनवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टुडे इज एन इजी क्वेश्चन नेम डिटेक्ट कैपिटल्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन इनपुट स्ट्रिंग एंड वी नीड टू कन्फर्म वेदर इट अबाइड्स बाय द कैपिटल रूल्स दट आर स्पेसिफाइड ओवर हियर इफ इट डज देन वी नीड टू रिटर्न ट्रू इफ इट डजन देन वी नीड रीड टू रिटर्न फॉल्स सो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज रूल्स एज वेल एज वेरियस एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन दट आई हैव क्रिएटेड सो लेट्स क्विकली मूव ऑन टू द पी पी टी It's an easy question, guys, and I hope all of you are able to do it by yourself. In case you are finding it difficult, I am always there for you. Detect capital slate code five twenty. So the question stated three rules. The first one is USA. The second string is Google, and the third string is lead code. So as per the question, let's move from lead code to the U to the USA. And in case the first character of the string happens to be a lower case character. then all the characters in that string should be in lower case this is the third rule i hope it is clear to you let me just reiterate if the first character of the string happens to be a lower case character then all the characters should be in lower case just remember this let's walk through the other two strings the first one is usa and the second one is google so if we see the first character to be of an upper case type which is here usa and google we can't confirm what future characters it should be so we can't make any decision on that so let's in case we see the first character to be of type upper case let's skip it we can't make a decision on that basis what we need to do we need to see the next immediate character if it happens to be upper case in nature then all the further characters should be in upper case similarly if it happens to be in lower case then all the future characters will be in lower case so these are the two set of other constraints that were specified in case we see a violation there we have to return false otherwise will return true so let's write one possible string that violates all these three cases it could be u s a and in the end we can have a lower case p so what we discussed we saw an upper case string upper case character u the first one we have to skip it then then we have to look at the next immediate one because we can't make the decision on the basis of upper case first character again we saw an is an upper case character uh, th that simply restricts that all the characters should be in upper case then again we see an upper case and then there is a violation because we see a lower case b character i hope you understood this let's walk through another example let's assume the string is given to us as google again but here we have d a g double o in small case then followed by upper case characters g and l and e so you saw an upper case character you can't make a decision then you see the next character and it's a lower case one that means all should be in lower case and as you witness this g it's a violation you return false similarly the last one is very simple Uh, you see, in lower case character, or it should be in lower case. Any string can be created using it. So, this could be other possibility, and we have to return false for such cases. Here, as you can see, we have these three characters in capital letters. Let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude this question. The time complexity of this approach is order of length of input string. so let's walk through the easier one first uh, it's a safety check if my length is 0 or length is 1 that means i need to return true otherwise i extract the zeroth character in case it happens to be in lower case then what should i check i should start from the first character and all should all the characters should be in lower case in case i find an upper case character i need to return false there and then itself so in case we see the first character the zeroth character to be of upper case type then what do we do we extract the state of the next character which is the first one and the first index and we check whether it's upper case in nature or not in case it's upper case in nature then is first character upper will be true otherwise it will be it will, it will be set to false and we will use this to actually make a state comparison with the rest of the characters in the string so we start a for loop starting from i equals to 2 up till the length of the string and we extract the state of each character one by one 
if there is a mismatch between the current state of the character versus the expected state which is the state of the first character and uh, the in case there is a mismatch then we return false otherwise we we keep on continuing the loop and once we are out of the loop we simply return true because there has been no violation let's try this up and it works maybe i'm create, connected to vpn that's why it's taking 4 milliseconds but anyways the time complexity is of this approach is definitely going to be equal to order of length of the input word string that is given to us it can't be better than this this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye